guys welcome back to another day of hope miss i am so excited because this is going to just be really fun for me i've been trying to come up with new video ideas i put a poll on my instagram so if you don't follow me on there already you should because i am taking video ideas and requests you can also comment them down below if you think of anything that you'd really like to see from me but i do have a good list of ideas so i'm really excited to share them I am going to be showing you how to change an insulin pump. This little red part up here in the corner, that's telling you that I only have nine units of insulin left. And if you don't know what that means, it means I'm almost out, so I really need to change it. So I'm just gonna walk you through that process. I know that I don't wanna spend my whole hope miss doing like diabetic videos, so I'm gonna try to do a lot of other fun things to mix it up. But for today, I needed to change my pump and I thought that would be a cool video to do. I hope that you guys enjoy seeing it and without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I follow the prompts that are on my insulin pump. I have the T-Slim pump, so whenever I need to change my pump, I go into options, and I go into load, and then change cartridge, and it gives you um, the instructions there, so I have to stop the insulin delivery. And then I have to disconnect from my body, so I push next because I am currently disconnecting as we speak. So there we go, that is off of the infusion site. And I am not going to show you exactly how I place it on my body, but I will do my best to explain everything else just because this is on my backside and I really don't want to blind you guys or be inappropriate. So <laughs> I'm just going to do my best the pump tells you what to do for the most part but some things are a little confusing so I'm gonna walk you through them so I get out my supplies I keep my supplies in this cute 31 tote so you need one of the infusion site that actually goes on your body and they come wrapped up like that then I need a cartridge where the insulin goes in and a needle to get the insulin into the cartridge so there is that and then I need a prep pad which these are the skin prep and they are by Smith and nephew and those are what you use to um, disinfect and create a more adhesive surface on your skin. I just need to grab the insulin, which has to be refrigerated. Wow, that is such a mess. Okay, so I use Humalog. It is just a form of synthetic insulin that my insurance covers. So now that I have all the supplies laid out, I will walk you through this. Okay, so I hope that this is a good angle because I'm trying to get you to be able to see everything that I am doing. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to disconnect or dislodge the cartridge that is old. And to do that, I take the brand new cartridge and I use the end of it to dislodge the old cartridge, which is right here. And this beautiful case allows me to get right into this divot where the um, old cartridge can be disconnected. So I don't know if you can see that divot, but this fits in there beautifully. And so it's kind of like a little crowbar and you just pop it out and then it just pops out just like that and you pull out the old one. And then that whole thing, this whole entire thing, can be thrown away. So the needle comes in this package that you have to peel off of both parts of the needle. So they just twist together like this, and you make sure it's really tight and twisted together. Then you just pull back on the syringe, and that way you have it full of air, and that is what you want whenever you insert it into the humalog because you want to push all of that air so you literally just push all of that air in slowly and then you flip it so that you can get all of the insulin and it naturally from that air pressure that you created just starts to fill if you can tell so you just want to slowly help that along 
until the entire syringe is filled and I think it does depend on the pump. You just have to know how much each cartridge can hold. Mine can hold three milliliters of insulin. I always um, flick it a little bit so that the air bubbles can be pushed out. So I just push out that air and fill it with more insulin. And I do that a couple times if there's pesky air bubbles. Now I can move on to um, unpackaging the brand new set. So there's a little tear off tab and these are the AutoSoft 90 by Tandem and they are compatible with my pump clearly and you just peel off that plastic packaging and then you can go ahead and peel off this and then you see this little thing that you're going to be able to cock back whenever it's time to put the pump on. But then you just take this lid off here. And what you have inside is the tubing that is, it is twisted around the set itself. You have to carefully dislodge it from the packaging so that you can pull this tubing out and unwind it so that it can be filled. Once this is done, you can pull this thing back for the filling process. You can just set it straight down on the table like so. And then you can connect the tubing to the brand new cartridge so that insulin can flow. And you really want to make sure that this is really tight whenever you connect those so that no insulin or air can come through. Then you can put this directly into the pump or you can fill it first and then put it into the pump. I like to fill it first, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill it. There is a small white part right here where the needle can go in. So you just carefully put it in. It doesn't go in all the way, but that is okay because it is enough. And then you just gently 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 fill it then i unscrew this and it can be thrown away now and as you can see on the prompts it's detecting the cartridge that i just put in so once that's good to go then you just keep going and it's asking if you want to fill the tubing with insulin and you do so then you're going to push start and you will hear it it will beep it will fill with insulin until it pushes out at the very end at that needle so you just have to pay attention to it and it could vary by pump but i usually stop it whenever i see insulin coming out on the other end so that has usually been around 14 units that it says and it tells you how many units it's at okay so now it is filled and it is detecting the insulin so while that is occurring and whenever it fills usually i take out this prep pad and i clean off the surface of my skin where I'm going to be putting this new one. I rotate it. I have it on my back side so whenever it's been on this side for the last few days I switch to this side. So I'm going to do that. So now that I have cleaned off that surface I have to wait for it to dry and follow the rest of these prompts. So it says done. So now the only thing left on here to do is fill the very end of the needle whenever you have it on your body. So now I'm going to do my best to show you this part and walk you through that. So now that the insulin has been filled, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit wet with insulin. So you have to peel off this and you have to be very, very careful not to dislodge it. So it just lightly peels off just like so. And then the last step to get it prepared is to twist off this plastic blue capping that was on the needle. So now we are looking right at that needle and you will pull using these. You just pinch and pull it back until it clicks like that. And you want to move the tubing into one of these small slits on the side. I don't know if you can see just to try to get it out of the way. The actual part that you squeeze to release is this really smooth, flat edge, and I don't know if you can really 
tell that it's a nice smooth flat edge but these two pieces on each side are where you will push and it will bounce right onto the skin okay so now that i put that on my skin i will show you kind of like what that's like once it's on there because i don't want to show you my actual backside like i said so you just peel off this whole thing and there is this real metal needle and then you'll have a set this plastic needle is what is left in your skin and this is the site what it looks like and then this is the tubing and it connects like I said just like this and that is what you see on your skin on the back so that is basically everything that I do to change my insulin pump I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any comments questions or anything please comment them down below I am happy to help and answer anything that I can I hope this was informational if not just enjoyable to watch and I can't wait to see what the next few days of hope miss is going to bring I'm really excited I have some fun videos planned and I can't wait to share them with you guys please comment down below if you have any video ideas that you would like to see me do i am open to suggestions and i will see you tomorrow in my next one bye guys